Hi everyone, welcome back to Hobbies and More. After a month, long hiatus filled with travels to mesmerizing destinations like Ajanta Ilora Caves, vibrant Goan weddings and nostalgic trip to my hometown Kolkata. I am finally back in the world of plants. In the coming weeks, I'll be sure to share my experiences from all of these travels and adventures with you. Stay tuned for more updates. Today, I'm diving straight into the hearts of my garden, which I must admit has suffered a bit of neglect in my absence. But fear not, because February marks a crucial time for Indian plant enthusiasts like us. Winter bidding adieu, making we for the vibrant spring. And it's imperative we prep our garden bodies for the impending summer. As you can see, there's quite a bit of work cut out for me. Reporting, pruning, fertilizing, you name it. With only a weekend at my disposal is going to be a very busy one. I start with these beauties, my adeniums. Four in total, each with its own tail. The oldest, unfortunately, fell victim to overwatering and needs urgent attention to rescue it and enhance its appearance. But don't be afraid, I am on a rescue mission today. Another adenium also requires reporting to encourage taller growth in its cortex, while the remaining two simply need a light pruning to, en to encourage bushiness. Firstly, I carefully remove each plant from its current soil mix and rinse them thoroughly with tap water. I notice an abundance of roots, so I sanitize my cutter first and trim away the excess roots. It's essential to ensure that a portion of the cortex remain above the soil level. After removing the roots, I apply fungicide using soft fungicide in this instance. Though any fungicide will suffice. I place the plants on the newspaper to dry. Ideally, for a week is required, but given time constraints, I'll proceed with potting them on Sunday evening. Oh yes, if you can hang them is better. As for the potting mix, a well draining succulent mix is suffice while I usually prepare a homemade mixture with equal parts of garden soil, sand and vermicompost with a fistful of neem powder. But this time I am opting for a ready-made succulent mix due to my time constraints. However, homemade mixture are generally preferable. After reporting, I will place the plants in a semi-shaded area for 7 days to minimize shock. Adeniums are very resilient, so there's no need to worry about them dying. For the next month, I won't fertilize the reported plants. However, the other two plants will receive balanced NPK spray, supplemented with 4-5 globules of seaweeds fertilizer and 2-3 globules of DAP in their potting mix. Slow release fertilizer is ideal for sustained nourishment. In the following month, I'll alternate between vermicompost NPK and liquid seaweed fertilizer. These all are game changers for these plants. Rest assured, I'll keep you updated on their process, especially when they bloom. Remember, it's crucial to adjust care routines according to your convenience and the needs of your plants. Overwatering remain our arch nemesis, leading to root rot. And don't even get me stated on pest and fungal infection. But fear not, with regular care and proper spraying routines, I can keep this nasties at bay. Regarding pest, aphid and millibugs can pose a threat, while fungal infections may raise due to overwatering. Establishing a routine for spraying insecticides and pesticides is essential. I recommend alternating weekly sprays of neem oil, saf powder 
or any other fungicide along with the pesticide. Personally, I prefer using Confider for this purpose. Additionally, I almost forgot to mention propagation. After pruning, don't discard the cuttings. Instead, apply fungicide to the curtains and allow them to dry. Then place them in a container filled with mixture of equal parts of sand and compost, ensuring thorough watering. Within a week or so, roots will begin to develop. For enhanced result, consider applying routine hormone. If you are using, routine hormone is crucial to wet the potting mix before inserting the cutting to prevent the hormone from being washed away. And that's a wrap for this week folks. Stay tuned for more garden updates and tips coming your way next week. Until then, happy gardening. Bye.